Detectives don't want a weekend murder to grow cold, so they're putting out a plea for information. They hope someone watching this holds the key piece of evidence to put a gunman behind bars. Ten of your sides, Anita Blanton has more on this case now. Anita. Nicole, Newport News Police know who shot Michael Robinson, but they still haven't been able to locate him. Meanwhile, look at this picture right here behind me of 22nd Street. Do you notice something even more tragic? If you look closely, you see one memorial right here, and at the far edge of the screen over there, underneath that tree, a second memorial on the street. Two deadly shootings, one street, one week apart. These are small reminders of the young lives lost. I think to everyone in the police department, everyone in the community should be disturbed by what's happening. Um, these are young people. Uh, you know, you kind of get the, well, when's it going to stop? Right now, police are pleading for your help. People should, should step up to, to protect their community. Uh, this is where people live. This is where people, you know, uh, have raised families. They say this man, Trudell Devon Terry, killed Michael Robinson in the 1100 block of 22nd Street last Saturday, June 28th. A woman was also shot in the incident but got away. Investigators are thankful for tips that led to the ID, but now they need to find where he is. When criminals are allowed to uh, commit violence and mayhem, uh, and they don't have to suffer the consequences, then it's the people in the community who suffer. And there's clearly already been enough suffering here. It's messed up that somebody, after this right here, it's messed up that he even did it yeah. down here, period. Police still don't know who shot Novian and Terrell's friend, 19-year-old Rashad Lewis, on June 22nd. Yeah, the biggest smile ever. Always joking around. Always joking around. And just hours after they came here to say goodbye, more blood was shed. We were just out here earlier that day. And then late at night, after his candlelight, that happened. Michael Robinson and the woman who was shot were at the vigil that night, too, before his life ended just feet away. The only way it comes to an end is to everybody get together, the whole community get together, and get their man right. It's just sad. Newport News Police are working with the U.S. Marshals to try and locate Trudell Terry. He's facing charges for first-degree murder, use of a firearm, and maiming. And we did some digging and found that he's faced maiming charges before, but there wasn't enough evidence to keep him behind bars. If you have any information that can help police, please call the crime line. Anita Blanton, 10 on your side.